but it's not their primary attacking mode. For teams, that's all they've got. We watched, remember we watched the Brumbies for a whole season, and Stephen Moore, that's all they did for four months. Seriously. Yeah, well, Wayne Smith's sick of it as well. He uh, was on the All Blanks podcast. You can go and listen to that where you get all your podcasts from. Slam the state of rugby. He watched a game a couple of weeks ago. It was between the Force and the Highlanders in Perth. He said for the first time in his life, he turned the game off at halftime and watched a, an animal documentary, Mills. Lions in the Serengeti. <laughs> I don't even know why he's watching it. That's that late. Oh, 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 six, oh, oh. six hours behind. He's watching. Hey. It, was, it could have been a great game, but it wasn't. No, it five was. yellow cards. Terrible game. But he had some solutions, didn't he? He wasn't just slapping. He'll the always, state of yeah, he'll always have solutions. And I think the frustrating thing for us, there's too many laws. So even the Blues game last night, every every second ruck, the ref's got his hand out for a penalty, and this is what Wayne's saying. You know, what, what's happening then is they're kicking for the corner, they're mauling, they're scrums, re-scrum, and. And you start, like, I pre-recorded the Blues games and I'm just fast-forwarding, going, fast-forwarding it, fast-forwarding it. I like that solution like we, that he's made, hasn't he? I mean, if you, if you kick for the corner, the, the opposition get, get it. Yeah. I think that's a lot more exciting. I mean, they just need to sit down and, and they start, start talking about these things. I mean, it's a lot better than going to the corner watching a line-out drive, you know. You've still got to come out, you know. You still, the, the, the and Goldie, you want to start a petition. Out. Goldie wants to oh, start look, a petition, look, look, Mills. Look, he look, wants to get rid of the jackal. Oh, look, this, uh, hands in the ruck is killing the game. I mean, everyone thinks they can steal it at any time, and particularly at lower grades. And, and, and I just want one grade to try playing where all you're doing is contesting for position with weight over the ball, pushing past the ball, and it's the only way you can win it. You get to a point, it's just a mess. And you think about an amateur referee who doesn't even have the ben He doesn't know ARs. He's got no one telling him. He hasn't got a TMO talking to him in his ear. He's having to paint this picture. I just, if we don't think outside the square, if we don't take this game forward like Wayne Smith is talking about and make it more attractive and easier to referee and more fun to play then, and for more people to play, I think we're going to lose the battle do very, very think, quickly. Do you think there would be enough natural turnovers, Mills, without the jackal? Well, you have to commit more numbers to the breakdown. What does that do? You commit more numbers, it opens up space. Yeah, there wouldn't be any in terms of what, what Jeff's saying, but it would, it would clean well, it up. Can, well, but you can, you go you past. can count a ruck. Yeah, you, you can, can count a I, I actually spoke to World Rugby about this about 150 million years ago, <laughs> and they were concerned that without the jackal, opposition sides would, sides would hang on to the ball for too long. Well, count a ruck. If you hit counter and you commit and you don't get it, guess what? There's space to attack for. Yeah, I, I don't disagree. I think there's enough errors in the game now through the dynamicism. Is that a word? Probably. Probably <laughs> yep. not. Is it? I'll take it. Um, Maybe not the way you said it, but <laughs> yeah, it is exactly. a word. Um, around yeah. the ball getting dropped or big hits. So, yeah, I reckon we should start a position, get rid of the jackal, but what, we've got to stop trialling stuff and just actually do stuff. And I think that's the beauty of Super Rugby this year. They've actually gone, actually, we're not going to wait for World Rugby. Um, we're just going to do some stuff. Yeah. And we'll be able to hear from Ben OK very shortly about what it's been like for referees, these new laws in Super Rugby in 2023. Well, time now for our Form 15. Now, this one was picked by Crowd Goes Wild host, reporter and, I should say, Chiefs enthusiast. I'm pretty sure he's their number one fan uh, since back in 1996. So there may be uh, a few Chiefs in this side. He has selected for his Form 15 this week Ethan DeGroote, Brodie McAllister, Tyrell Lomax, Tupo Ba'i, Scott Barrett, Akita Ioane, Sam Kane, Luke Jacobson, Brad Webber, Damian McKenzie. I'm starting to lose count of the number of Chiefs in here. Uh, Levi Aomua, Dan Rona. Thought maybe he could add an extra one there at 12. Lester Whainganuku, Imoni Narawa and Sean Stevenson. Before these guys get stuck into this team, let's hear it from James himself. Kia ora, breakdown whanau. Yes, I know, eight Chiefs, but I can justify it. I'll get back to that soon. There were three Crusaders, Scott Barrett, Brodie McAllister with the hat-trick there, the hooker, and Lester Whainganuku, still in amazing form. Uh, Tyro Lomax had a pretty good game up in Fiji, so he sneaks in. Uh, also, Akira Yuani, so good. The offloads, yards after contact. Uh, there are Highlanders in there, Jeff. Yes, I've picked Ethan De Groot and... Oh, just, just the one, one Highlander. Sorry, Jeff. I thought Billy Harmon was in there, but unfortunately, Sam Kane got it because you know what? 50 points away from home means that you get eight players. Sean Stevenson, all that flair, the Benji Marshall flick, and Morning Ottawa with arguably the individual try of the season. Daniel Rona with the perfect all-round centres game. And 
the best kick under advantage I've seen for a long time there. The little chip for Sean to score. And uh, McKenzie, I know he played a lot of the game at fullback, but it doesn't matter. He was named at 10. Weber outshining the All Blacks incumbent there and showing serious toe and a good in-your-face fend. In your face, Jeff. Did you see it? I did. I think this team would win the World Cup final. By the way, Levi Almoa. You cannot deny Moana Pacifica, even though the ref did. Awkward. Yeah. Oh, that is too good. I that think is... you got James's title wrong. He's a Chiefs tragic. Yes, that's right, JK. That's Not right. Not supporter. That's, a, that's different. Well, uh, what do you actually think of his team? Is it well balanced? Are there any holes or exclusions for you? Maybe Anton Leonard Brown deserved to be in this mix? Yeah, I would have put Anton in there. I think he would have gone straight in there with his form. Um, I, I thought Amor could have done a bit more. He did some really nice stuff, but I expected him to be just a little bit more dominant in the midfield there. Probably didn't get enough ball to do that. But um, I think finally, Goldie, someone's gone back to a form team. And if you think about form, wasn't bad. This is another hit at you. I, I haven't had anything to do with the last three teams. I mean, I've just I've let them pick their sides. So look, this is a, this is a quality team. Um, these guys have, have all played well. Uh, I think you can never underestimate the effort and work that Scott Barrett does. Yeah. Like he's just like every week. It's week in, week out. Every time he plays the Crusaders, actually nothing changes with him. You now continues to to lead from the front, the captain of that side. Um, Tupa is an interesting one as well, you know, the, the shifts that he's making. Uh, uh, and I thought uh, Koi was really good yeah, too. Yeah. I mean, how blessed are they? I love the fact we interviewed him, what, with 20 to go, and he said, it's all right, Brody, I've got it covered. I had no <laughs> worries at all. Take a rest, mate, have a week off. He also you said, know? Sky, give me a job. Yeah, he did ask for that job. It's coming later, mate. <laughs> relax, relax. <laughs> good team. Uh, Lester Fanganuku making waves again, just keeping, keeping everyone on notice, the fact that he's certainly still there. The great thing about this is, there's none of these guys that aren't all black. I oh, exactly. Or aren't in company all black. Mm. You know, the pressure comes on, and the pressure's coming on, and you talk about teams timing their runs, so... We need to see the best of some of these guys. Yeah, what does it tell you about some of these guys that aren't All Blacks? Nearly half the team. Oh, they're hungry. I mean, you look at you look at the way the Chiefs are playing, though. You know, it's that environment that we sort of spoke about again. Um, yeah, I like I like that sort of I like this, the side that he picked. I mean, there are some incumbents that are starting to starting to peak. Even David Harvey, he's you know he's always been really really solid too for the for the Crusaders since coming back from injury. So I'm looking forward to the next the next. Three or four weeks is going to be crucial for some of these guys. Has uh, comments around Brad Weber outplaying Aaron Smith? Uh, I'm not 100 per cent sure of that. When the team's dominating like the Chiefs are, really easy to look good. You know, Aaron Smith's just going and, and competing as hard as he can, but at the moment, it's behind uh, a side that's just not dominating in areas that make him uh, shine. Yeah, look, is, is what are we looking for? Is really I think halfback is the most intriguing um, position. The three halfbacks are quite similar that are in form at the moment. So, you know, TJ Piranara coming back in, that loose forward type nine, I'm really interested in because they're all playing incredibly well. Um, I, I agree with Goldie, hard for a halfback to dominate when your forward pack's not going forward. But are we going to look at a mix? That's all I'm thinking. That's all I'm interested in, which means that one of those similar yep. halfbacks is going to miss out and it ain't going to be Aaron Smith.